from California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. The Plains of Fame Air Museum. Hello, I'm Paul Dudley and welcome to Local Matters featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. From actual World War II planes to Grand Hollywood prop planes, the Plains of Fame Air Museum is a fun place to learn about the wonderful world of aviation. Reporter Anne-Marie Taramanas gives us a closer look at these majestic planes. From the original flying wing to the B-17, Plains of Fame Air Museum has it all. Here in Chino, there are about 80 planes available for the public to see, with about 25 of them being flyable. Brian Boyer and Stephen Andridge were nice enough to show me around the museum and teach me a little more about World War II airplanes. Our founder, uh, Ed Maloney, uh, decided that uh, he wanted to save uh, the aircraft that were used in World War II. So in 1957, he started the museum in Claremont, California. Ed Maloney started seeing uh, that the Warbird uh, movement, if you want to call it that, would be very, very popular in years uh, forward, and he was right. Essentially, we, we have the goal of inspiring uh, interest in aviation, preserving aviation history, and educating the public in both aviation history and uh, aviation technology. We have over 80 airplanes here, principally from the World War II era. Uh, my favorite plane is the uh, Stearman, the, our red Stearman biplane. Uh, essentially, it's, uh, it was used in the uh, movie Pearl Harbor where the kids stole their dad's airplane, and I just love that whole uh, 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 event. What does this museum have to offer for children? Maybe that spark to know that aviation might be something they want to do. Uh, I take youngsters around at least three times a week. I always have them stop before we start the museum tour, and I ask all of the girls to raise their hands and repeat after me. And they look at me attentively, and I say, girls. They say, girls. I say, fly. They say, fly. Two. By the end of the tour, all I have to do is stop and turn around, and all of the girls put their hands in the air and shout, girls fly too. Now if that's a spark enough for them to get involved, then I do my job well. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. And that's where aviation history lives. It's time for takeoff for Local Matters. I'm Anne Marie Taramanis. So take time to visit the Plains of Fame Air Museum. I'm Paul Dudley. Join us next time for more local stories that matter. The College of Arts and Letters graduated its first students from the new Arabic language program, a first for the CSU system. The Department of World Languages and Literatures received more than $200,000 in federal funds to bolster its Arabic programs. This fall, the college will begin a Master of Fine Arts degree in creative writing. As indicators of faculty excellence, art professor Brad Spence had a painting acquired by the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. Vocal music professors Andy Crane and Stacy Frazier performed in Europe. Theater professor Johanna Smith visited four Chinese cities with her students on a puppetry tour. English professor Joe Sutliff Sanders edited three books for classic comics in London. And Glenn Hirschberg spoke at Russia's St. Petersburg Writers' Union. Jackie Rhodes was named interviews editor for Composition Forum, a national English journal. You failed to signal your turn. You didn't come to a complete stop, and your left tail light is out. That's uh, three things together. <laughs> so it's cheaper, right? Like the charter bundle, digital cable, phone, and high-speed internet all together for less. <laughs> you know, bundling? <laughs> I don't think the laws of bundling apply. Could they, though? Bring your home to life and save big with the charter bundle. Call today.